It's 8.16 in the morning. Figured I'd show you guys what a typical day's like. I've been up since about 6.05. That's when my alarm usually goes off. Got out of bed around 6.45. Um, went, picked up Steven from my ex-wife's work because I run him to school every morning. And then she didn't have anything for him for lunch today. So I ran to Walmart and picked him up lunch and dropped him off at school probably around like 7.50. So, I just got home. Um, yeah, today is not going to be anything special. I'm going to sit here and practice the bass for a little bit. And then, I think Rebecca said she's going into work a little bit early. So, I'll probably just play video games. I don't, I don't know what all I'm going to do today. But then I'm going to pick Steven up from school around 3.30. And then, um, yeah, we have Taekwondo today. Taekwondo today at 4.45 and then after that he goes back to his mom's and I come home so that's probably going to be the extent of my day. Lately I've been using the app Musician to try to learn how to play the bass. I thought I was doing really well but now I'm getting to a point where it's really freaking hard and I'm just I'm not where I need to be to actually do it well but I'm going to hop on here and practice it. Um, I'm doing the free version, so I get to practice for like a set amount of time or a set number of sections or whatever. I'm not quite, really, quite entirely sure how it works, but uh, generally it's 20 minutes to a half an hour that I get to every day. So it's not too bad. Okay, so this is gonna be horrible, but whatever. That wasn't that bad. Sorry about the camera angle. I know you guys can't actually see what I'm doing. My phone is propped up against my computer, so it might be kind of loud too. I don't know. I don't know what the audio looks like. Let's see if I can maybe move it. Nah, it looks like this is gonna be the best angle. So, and like the rattle on this freaking bass drives me nuts. There's like no sweet spot either, like. That's me pressing as hard as I can and it's still just rattling like crazy. So, okay, well I think I'm done with that for now. So, yeah, now that I've practiced this for a little bit. Um, now that I've practiced this for a little bit, I think I'm going to sit down, watch some TV, relax a little bit. Been watching Bones lately. Might play some Final Fantasy 15. I'm like five or six trophies away from platinuming it, which is sad because it literally came out like two weeks ago tonight. And uh, for a Final Fantasy game, it should take a lot longer than that to platinum 
again. But I'll just keep posting or keep recording throughout the day. See if anything exciting happens, which I doubt it will. Okay, so I'm trying to keep this um, vlog as real as possible. As you can tell, my face is a little fucked up. I'm sitting here watching Bones. And the crazy thing with PTSD is you never know when it's going to trigger. And uh, as you can see, I'm shaking pretty good. It's the littlest things like in shows. But in this episode, in season 11, they find a body that's clearly been dumped or whatever. And a phone rings. And it's rigged with an IED. And one of the people... <clears throat> uses his body as a shield <coughs> to protect one of the other people. And now he's like in surgery and you don't know what's going on. But uh, the littlest things like that, like you can be having a good day and you can be watching a show like this and you don't know what to expect. And all of a sudden something like this happens and it's just overwhelming anxiety flashbacks. Just like... I don't know, it's it's weird how fast it triggers like that. Like, you go from just normal to watching something to completely messed up. And it sucks because there's no warning in stuff like this. So I don't know what I should and shouldn't watch. I don't know what's going to trigger. I don't know whatever. So hopefully this isn't going to, like, ruin my day because, I mean, it's just a normal day. But at the same time, this triggered the stuff in my head. So now I have to take the time to try to slow it down and stop it and, you know, whatever. And it, it just sucks because you never know. Like, it could be anything like this. Like, a uh, um, little known story that some people know about me. A couple years ago, I was in a pretty bad car accident. Like, I was fine. My car got a little dent in it. But what happened was this guy lost control of his Jeep. And uh, probably going about 50 miles an hour, he clipped the back end of my car. Like, he swerved into my lane. I swerved to not get hit. He clipped the back end of my car, and he was so lifted, he drove up the back of my car and rolled six or eight times in the road. Like, it looked like something from, like, a Die Hard movie. Like, he was bouncing through the air and stuff, and he rested on his side. And me, just out of instinct... Flipped my car around, blocked traffic, went running up to see him fall out of the Jeep, like, laying on the ground, going, holy shit, you know. A couple other people came, the cops came, all that, and it didn't hit me until, like, the next day, my PTSD started getting really bad again. And then, like, a week later, I realized that I went back into kind of combat mode, like, what would have happened if there was a rollover or if a Humvee got hit by an IED or whatever in Iraq, like I just went into auto mode and it triggered something in my brain that triggered my PTSD. And it really sucks because before that I had my PTSD like totally under control. I hadn't had any episodes or anything in a long time. And since that day, I've had a really hard time keeping it under control. And so there's just little things every day that could possibly trigger it. And it really sucks. But I'm going to finish watching this episode, see what happens. Hopefully finishing the episode will kind of help get this under control. And it sucks because I know this is fake. I know that it, it's not real in any way. But it brings back so many memories that it really messes with my head. Okay, so like I was talking about earlier, watching that episode of Bones like really got to my PTSD for some reason. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious why it did. But uh, with that... It's for the most part under control, but now with this, my emotions are a little out of whack. So like the littlest things kind of get to me. And so when I see videos of like happy couples or romantic things, it makes me really depressed and it sucks. And okay, so most of you know that I have a son. He's awesome, he's five years old. Um, a lot of you probably don't know that I was married because, like, nowadays, just because I have a son doesn't mean I was married. But with that, I was married for almost five years. And she was amazing. And I kind of, it was kind of one of those things where you don't know what you have until it's gone. And uh, I kind of took advantage of the fact that I had everything that I ever wanted. And, like, I didn't do anything bad I didn't, you know, cheat on her. I didn't do anything like that at all. But I 
I don't know. I kind of took advantage of the fact that she was so good. And I felt like I wanted more. I felt like I needed more. I felt like she treated me bad. I felt like all this other stuff. And I mean, we had our problems. Every relationship does. But uh, I decided that I was sick of what was going on. I was sick of my marriage. And so I ended up kicking her out. And my intention was to work on things from a distance. So take a step back. But I didn't voice that intention. And by the time I had, it was too late. She had already... I don't want to say gotten over me, but that's the best way to describe it. She'd already accepted the fact that we weren't going to work and had moved on. And by the time I realized that I needed to change things and by the time I realized that I wanted to work on things and that I wanted to make things better, it was already too late. And it, it's really messed with me. I've tried dating since then and it doesn't work. And it sucks because it always comes back to the fact that nobody is her. And it's just really difficult because I miss coming home to my family. I miss coming home to my wife and child. And it's one of the biggest things that weighs on me is I feel like I failed me. I feel like I failed her. I feel like I failed our son by not trying harder and not working harder. And it really, really sucks. Especially now that I have to sit back from a distance and watch her, you know, raising my son separate from me. Like, we both have equal custody and everything, but she's raising him separate. You know, it's not one of those things where we go to things together. We go do things as a family. We go do things as his parents, you know. It's we go to his things as his mom and as his dad, as separate, separate individuals, and it sucks. But... I don't know, I'm having a really hard time getting over it because I don't want to accept the fact that that she's gone. Like, it, it I don't know. It, it's one of those things where she, she is. She has moved on. She has voiced it many times that she doesn't want to be with me. She's voiced it many times that she doesn't, that she's given up on me, basically. And I don't know, it, it really sucks because there's people that I care about out there, but no matter how much I care about somebody, they're not her. So, um, I don't know. It's one of the biggest things I struggle with, and it sucks because whenever my PTSD gets like this, it always goes back to that. I see what I had, I see what I've always wanted, and I see what I fucked up. And it sucks. I spend the morning watching Bones and uploading all my videos to YouTube because I've been just uploading them to Facebook, which is where the majority of people have been watching them. But I figured I'd put them on YouTube too to reach a broader audience than just the uh, amount of Facebook friends that I have. I forgot my hat. Um, so now it's like 3.05 in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to go get Steven from school. And after that, we're gonna go to Taekwondo Taekwondo. I keep pronouncing that wrong and they keep getting mad that we're pronouncing it wrong. But uh, we're going to go do that. And then after that, I'm going to come home, probably edit some of this, do my final thoughts and everything, and kind of call it an early night. I stayed up pretty late last night working on videos. So I'm kind of tired. I'm home for the night now. Did basically everything I said I was going to do today other than play Final Fantasy 15. I just didn't really feel like playing it right now. It's um, 7-11, so I'm getting ready to finish this up. Um, I already edited the videos from earlier today, so I'm just going to add this clip in and then hopefully publish it within the next like 20 minutes or so. Um, my day ended up being just like every other day. My emotions and stuff have been a little out of whack because of what happened earlier with that Bones episode and everything. And uh, I don't know. I, I went to take one dough and did that my back is killing me so that was probably a mistake but um i feel like my ptsd is pretty under control i feel like i'll be okay after a good night's sleep if i can get a good night's sleep hopefully i don't have any nightmares um but yeah all in all it was a pretty good day today um yeah if you guys ever have any questions comments concerns feedback constructive criticism, whatever, um, feel free to ask me in the comments. I do check this stuff. I do get the notifications since it is on Facebook. Um, YouTube, I don't really check 
as often, but I'm going to start now that I'm putting the videos on there as well as on Facebook. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go sit down, watch some TV and probably pass out on my couch.